I'm gonna test also keeping a... I think it's working. Yeah, I should be able to stream and... stream and uh, record at the same time. I'm doing a tourist mission. I'm gonna see if I can go to go to the moon, land, redock with my command module, and then transfer to Minmus, land there, and then go all the way back with these three fucking tourists. Nata Fry, Gregnard, and Will G. Alright. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go for it. Here we go. Uh, I have no idea. I, once again, I'm gonna try to copy... I'm gonna try to copy the flight profile I had last time. Boy, it's wiggling. Not enough struts. Yeah, pretty much the same flight profile as last time. Not very efficient, but it did get me to orbit. All right, forty-four seconds. Let's see if my reaction wheels have any authority here. Yeah, like, nah, not even. Oh, I have RCS though. I could try turning that on. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, shit. One seventy delta V left. Oh man, look at it wiggle. There. Did the old time warp trick. Uh 
So I am in orbit, but I do want to dump off this last stage. And luckily, I have oriented my craft such that it's basically the same as an Apollo mission, except my command module is already docked with the lander. So, uh, I can point normal. I don't think it's moving. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Actually, no, I want to go retrograde, so... Using up all my fucking battery. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Solar panels. Yeah, see, so here's an engine that's supposed to take me to intercept and back. Anyway, what I want to do. Uh, is actually separate. Let me put my solar panels back in. I want to drop this into atmosphere and then separate and then launch. Step. Alright. Oh shit, I need to do the stupid anti-normal thing. Radial out. No, radial in actually. Shit, what the hell? What are you doing? You need to go... Fuck. What, what the fuck is this thing doing? Stop, you piece of shit. What are you doing? Oh my god. Okay, I need to fix where this thing is pointed. Hold on. Damn. Re reversed. Okay, there we go. Prograde, please. I'm gonna hit Atmo. No longer. No longer in danger. That was scary, though. Where am I? I wonder, if I just go straight radial out, will that fix it? Yeah, it's doing something. Anyway. I'm a little bit eccentric. Uh, let me get my solar panels out. because I was driving from this thing. All right. So now I want to transfer Jeb into this guy, right? So I want Jeb in here. Who do I have in here? Just Jeb. I don't know. That might be okay. Um, is Valentina in here? No. Okay. I actually want Valentina. Trans transfer her to this guy and then I want to control from here there anyway let me see try to find my transfer window to the mun am I inclined Oh, there we go. Okay, I was just early. Okay. Oh, there. Maybe that was the problem. I didn't have the target set. Ugh.
All right, that's good enough. I have a little bit of inclination, but it's not terrible. And I don't think it matters, because I'm going to have to transfer to Minmus anyway. Let's see, that's 830. Delta V, 837. Uh, I think I have an action group set up to toggle these three engines right here. Let's see, there we go. Now my Delta V is 1843. Let's see, 1183 with them, 1843 without them. That's just with the... Uh, 11 minutes! Holy shit. I gotta burn now. Oh shit, I need to face the node. Uh, I don't know if I should do that. Should I face the node? I don't know if I should. 11 fucking minutes, god damn. Face, face. It's probably gonna, yeah, it's gonna kill my... I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to burn twice. Oh shit. This is way more tricky than I thought. Anyway, let's see. If, if periapsis goes below 80, I'm gonna pull the plug on it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do more than one burn. Never used a nuclear engine before. I did not get into a high enough orbit for this. I don't even know. I don't think this orbit is going to let me get there. Not with, not without kicking on these guys and using a boxidizer. So why don't I just turn on my other engines again and use up my fucking oxidizer. There. Because I, I don't think I can make it with the... I should have gone into a much, much higher orbit if I was going to use a nuclear engine to, to get to the moon. there. Just gonna have to use up fuel. Why do you wiggle so much? Damn it. I'm trying to stay on the maneuver node. Alright. Oof. That really bit into my fuel. I only have 1,000. I don't think I'm gonna make it yeah, I might. I'm only going to make it to the moon, I think. There. Now, capture. How long is that burn going to take? Three twenty-eight, and that's a. F oh, it's a three-minute burn, not a four-hour burn. Start burn in four hours. Okay. That is way more doable. I don't want to warp here. Alright, there we go. Now I can take my sweet five minutes rotating around to the node. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. How oh, magnificent. You missed lunch. <laughs> I can tell. So I'm carrying three tourists and one of them wants to land on both of the moons and the other one just wants to land on the, the further away one. So I had to come up this with this monstrosity. <laughs> nice, dude. You know, I tried. I tried to. I tried to play that game for fun. Man. I, it, it was a long time ago. But I think it was still paid or some shit back then. It was, I stuck ass. I couldn't get anything off the ground. 
Every noob needs to watch Scott Manley's entire playlist. Scott Manley? Yep. Fair enough. I'm nervous about this burn. I've got an incredibly long capture burn to do, and a, a very slow engine to do it with. <laughs> Look at those little happy fuckers down there. <laughs> Three, two, one, zero, burn. Alright. Capture burn initiated. Has, uh, has anybody else been popping in and watching? Yeah, burn was in, but uh, I think he was having mic problems or something. That son of a bitch. <laughs> oh shit, I'm drifting from my node, I think. Here we go. I don't think it matters, because I was pointed slightly... Uh, I was pointed slightly radial out, which is probably good. Oh, jeez. Look, I got two fucking minutes left of this. Two minutes left to continue fucking sweating it. Sweating your balls off, huh? And I'm pretty sure I don't have enough fuel to get back. <laughs> but don't tell them that, man. Don't tell them that at all. Yeah, there's no way I'm transferring to the other moon and back with 800 Delta V. Not even that. It's going to be like 650 by the time I'm done. I think it takes 900 to get back. <laughs> so once you get there you're just you're straight fuck well yep. the command module cannot oh I forgot I'm gonna be separated from my lander I might have enough I'm gonna ditch the lander <laughs> alright here we go alright we are in orbit around the mun Got us some daylight. Alright, so I have to figure out who the hell I need to send in to the lander. Uh, land on Mun. Land on Mun. So I need Will G and Natafree in the lander. Now they're about to have the time of your little curve of lines. I cannot transfer into that. There we go. Okay. Will G. Transfer. Will G into this. Bam. All right. So I have the configuration I need. Now I just need to decouple the lander and land. Alright. I'm gonna point normal to do this, I think. Do I have, oh, I don't want that staged. Holy shit, I was about to decouple this fucking thing. I better turn... Can I deactivate that? I cannot. Okay, so I better just not hit the space bar. Boy, if I almost hit the space bar just then, I was about to completely remove uh, my entire docking port and never be able to reconnect. <laughs> Were you just about to hit the space bar? <laughs> yeah, I thought I had the docking port on... A staging, but no, there's a little decoupler here. Right there, where if I stage that, then I lose my ability to dock these two vessels. <laughs> Bam. Alright, no. Now I have to figure out which freaking vessel I'm even controlling right now. I think I've got the right one. Yeah, I do. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I got the right one. I want to control from this pod. Control from here. Oh, oh shit. Let me go retrograde. And... All right, that's an impact trajectory. Shit, I think I did too much. I think I'm going to land right here. <laughs> now those little fuckers are going crazy in their mouths. They're just they're the ugliest little beasts. One of these greedy fuckers wants to land on both moons. That's vertical enough of a descent. Let me turn this to land. Oh shit. I programmed this little computer chip with uh, manual hinges and pistons to make my own landing gear. Let's see how it works. How long does it take you to do that? Well, as long as it takes to slap parts together. Oh, there's... Finally see my shadow. Alright, I think I'm cutting this exactly... Small dot. I have pretty good thrust to weight. Bam. Looking good. Yeah, Will G over here wants to land on Minmus now. It's not good enough that he got on the frickin' moon. <laughs> All right. 
I name this flag Tourist Trap. No, I don't want the. I have to climb the fucking flag. <gasps> oh! Ah, these fuckers. They don't get to EVA. Tourists may not disembark from the vessel. Sucks to suck. Enjoy the view. Enjoy the view. Actually, I can get a view, I think. Oops. The interior. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Grab the ladder, you little fuck. Now I have to figure out how the hell I'm going to rendezvous with my command pod. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, even without the lander attached, I only have a thousand Delta V left in this thing. And how much is it going to take you to get home? I don't know. I was thinking I was going to have enough to get to Minmus and home, but I don't even know how much it takes to transfer from the Mun to there. You know what? I didn't check. I didn't check uh, a transfer window to see if this is even a good time to try to go from one moon to the other. They might not be lined up at all. Too many variables, man. Too many variables. Actually, I might have gotten really freaking lucky. I have no idea, but I might have. Oh my god, I did. Minmus encounter. <laughs> We're going for it. You're gonna you're you're gonna justify that son of a bitch's <laughs> demands from you. I mean you know I'm quick saving first. <laughs> yeah. But I'm also knowing whoever you know, Oh hey, here's my moon rover. Lay the fuck down there. I had to drive this fucker for like an hour across the surface because uh, I had a contract to get uh, seismic readings from a certain area and I landed way far away from it. <laughs> Are those two dudes in, the, in that rover still? What the fuck? Well, yeah, but I guess one of them... Oh, I moved one of them into a science lab on board here. Oh, okay. And that's this guy. He's sideways. <laughs> He's inside the cylinder. Okay. And see this, uh... Yeah, they're gonna live here for now. Yeah, you see this arm on top of the rover here? With the camera thing on it? Uh, I, w I was contracted to scan a rock on the moon... But apparently this fucking thing can't reach downwards at all, so I cannot scan a rock. <laughs> Glass 
sassy move. More like gassy move. Alright. I'm gonna try to intercept. Please. Oh, I don't have a SAS. There we go. I need my numbers. Yeah, I'm not going to hit it. <laughs> I might as well try to use all the fuel in my lander to intercept with it instead of the other way around because I need all of this thing's fuel. Oh, is that going to do it for me? Is it taking into account that all the, the, the rotation of the, of the moon as well? Yeah, but we're in orbit now, so it doesn't matter anymore. What does matter is my inclination... Which is way off. Might as well go for that right now. Very delicate. Ten seconds. approach. I think I was just like two meters per second too fast by the end of that burn. And yet, how much those two seconds will cost us? That's a matter of ten kilometers. I'm gonna kill off my inclination. Finally found a time to intercept, but it's going to be in the dark. The dark side of the moon. Pink Floyd had it right. <laughs> there it is. There it is. This is a visual representation of the record. Something tells me I'm going to miss my Minmus transfer window. And that something is the lyrics from Smash Hit. Dark side of the moon. If you play the record at first. Alright. 
I'm going to be 100 meters away from it. Just on the morning side. Where's my fucking target? I can't see it. There it is. Shit, dude. I am about to pack it in, my friend. Alright, well glad I could have you for the Mun landing. Yeah, dude, send me uh send me the rest of the video, dude. Yeah, I have a feeling you're not going to miss the Minmus landing because there probably won't be one. <laughs> well, nevertheless, I need to I need to bear witness to the to the failure. Of the <laughs> All right, good night, dude. Yeah, good night. the top of that thing. Okay, cool. I want to go towards it. of it because I need to go get in front of it or you know what I could do I could kill my velocity control from here then I want to make this my target I don't have move to target though Wiggle my wiggly ass around. Good enough. Good enough for stock. Uh, oh, I didn't shut down these engines. Gotta do them one by one. There we go. 630 Delta V. No way I'm making it to Minmus and back. Uh, Alright. Let me just see. What would it take to get there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Ah, uh, yeah. We missed our window. Let's get another one. That's roughly in line with where I want to be. Do 
I get a min miss encounter? No, because I'm off plane as well. Yay. Yeah, I, I mean, it, I had a perfect window and then I scuffed it. With my stupid, crappy, craptastical, bogus ass interception that took a week, two weeks, I don't even know how long. I might be completely out of a window. I might have passed an, another transfer window. What is that? Oh, Minimus Encounter. Okay, cool. I can force one. Uh, where the hell would my periapsis be? I can't see it? You're not going to let me see? Minimus Encounter, but... But! Where in the hell... Will my orbit be? How come I can't see it? I might have to wait for another transfer window. What I should do is look up a delta V table real quick and see if 630 can even get me there. Origin. Mun. Destination. Minmus. Plot it. Well, let's see. Interesting. 148. So in six in six days, uh, does it tell me total delta V 300? Hmm. All right. So it's going to take me 300 delta V to encounter Minmus, and that's optimal right now. And that's going to leave me with 330 if I do it perfectly. So, let me hop over to the interbuds. I'm going to see if I can come up with that uh, image that shows all the different gravity wells and delta V and stuff. I just want to see how much it takes to get back. I'm pretty sure it takes like 900 delta V to get back. Here it is. Okay, 930. Uh, yeah. Takes 930 to get... It looks like it does. Yeah, 930 from Minmus to orbit around Kerbin. So I will, I already don't have enough fuel. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this video here. Uh, I might, I might be stupid enough to send a refuel mission and see if that gets the job done. I don't have another pilot though. I have both Jeb and Valentina on this fucking thing. Uh, so let me go back, leave these guys hanging for a minute. Do I even have another pilot? I don't think I do. Boy, it's dark. Why is it dark? Uh, astronaut complex. Yeah, I... Oh! I have Razel. Razel to the fucking rescue. Okay, cool. So that's what I'm gonna do. I am going to send Razel up in a refuel mission. Actually, I don't even need another person. Well, I could just make it complicated. Because uh, I only have space for... Uh... I realized how much of a dumbass I am. I have five Kerbals on that thing. I only have re-entry pods for four of them. <laughs> I was planning on sending them back two by two in the, the pea pods. And that's the only thing that has any ablator. So, yeah, Razel will have to rescue uh, somebody. Let me check my contract. What does my contract say? Uh... Son of a bitch. These, the, all three of these fuckers need to go to Minmus. Um, so I can't just take one of them back. I will have to go to Minmus, send the refueler to Minmus, and then Natafri will have to come back on the refueling vessel. So that's my plan. I'll do that later. For right now, it's just fucking dark. But... The dawn will rise.